What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we are on vacation in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am visiting one of my very favorite thrift store chains. We have one of these about, I don't know, an hour and a half away from where I live and it's always a treat when I go there, so I like to visit it when I'm in other states that have it and it is Deseret Industries. Um, I've been to this location in Las Vegas before. I think that there's two here. The other one is further away and I remembered that I liked it more than this location, but you never know whenever it's things that are donated, like sometimes donations are really good and sometimes they're just not. So I feel like that kind of like rotates. Um, Everett's here with me, obviously. I'm here. So the one in our Sacramento store has a, an amazing outdoor section. I found everything there from $5 skateboards with high quality wheels, trucks, and bearings uh, <laughs> to uh, computer bags, computer, uh, just anything you want. So this one, we'll see how their outdoor section is. Um, I'll, I'll probably give you guys a tour, so stay tuned. I also really like this thrift store because they're really reasonably priced as you guys may have saw on my video from yesterday or maybe like last week when you guys saw it. Uh, I went to Goodwill here in Vegas yesterday and I just felt like their prices were very expensive. So I'm hoping that Desiree in here Desiree. is Deseret. For all I always haters say it wrong. out there. I always say it wrong. The DI. I hope that they are giving us some really good deals today. Okay, let's go. Deals, deals, deals. Quick little break for our sponsor for today's video, and that is Dossier. You guys know I'm obsessed with fragrances recently, and Dossier is one of my very, very favorites and go-to fragrance companies. They make dupes or inspired by fragrances from high-end designer fragrances, and they have so many. They are constantly coming out with new fragrances, and so I had to pick up two more for this month. I wanted to do one that was kind of for the end of summer, and then one going into fall. Figured I'd just really quickly show you guys the cute new Dossier fragrances and thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this video. One of the things I love about Dossier is not only do they smell so much like the designer fragrance, it's really nice because they let you smell it and if you don't like it, they have a really great return policy. So you can buy the fragrances and smell them, test them out, and if they don't work for you, then you can send them back. And they also do great bundle prices. Like the more fragrances that you end up buying, the better the deal. So that's also really great if you guys wanna try out quite a few. So many of my Dossier fragrances smell so similar to the fragrance that they're inspired by that I actually don't end up repurchasing the inspired by fragrance after that. Once I go through it, then I just switch over to Dossier and have quite a collection of these little guys now and love them so much. End of summer fragrance that I picked up from Dossier is this one right here called Fruity Honey. This is inspired by a Joe Malone fragrance, which is called Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. I do get a little bit of the honey, but I would say that this is mostly fruity smelling. I definitely kind of get that nectarine and peach kind of scent. Okay, this one sells out on Dossier all the time, which of course it does. This one is called Ambery Saffron. This one is a dupe for BDK Baccarat Rouge 540, which I feel like has been like one of the biggest scents for the last few years. Everyone talks about Baccarat and loves it. It is so expensive. I've actually never smelled Baccarat, but I have smelled a lot of the fragrances that are supposed to smell really similar but I hadn't smelled the Dossier version and I am so excited to smell this one. More ambery, deep, saffrony, spicy, deep smell and it is so good. So if you guys wanna try out Dossier, I will link everything in the description box down below. They make amazing inspired by fragrances and I am so happy with all of the ones that I've gotten this month. All right, you guys, back to the video. All right, you guys, here we are. Quickly look at these little shorts right here and then head over to the shoes, I think. Three dollars, that's what I like to see. Gap. I like those. Okay, let's go to the shoes. I found the cowboy boots of my dreams. Oh my God, these are so cute. Stop. 
I wish I knew someone that had a child that would fit these because those are so cute. Oh my God. All right guys, nothing in shoes. So I think I'm gonna head to dresses and skirts because that's what I've been loving lately. I'm already feeling better about today. Um, I found this cute Banana Republic dress. I don't know if you can see, but it's like tiered. And then it does have straps. It's pretty cute, only $4. Excited about that. I also ended up finding this little jumpsuit right here, which I don't normally like jumpsuits, but the bottom has these like little flares. I don't know if you can see. And I thought it would maybe look good with like a button up cardigan or like another shirt over the top. It's from that brand Art Class, which I think they sell at Target. Um, yeah, so I thought that that was pretty cute. And then I found this little polo. It's from Brandy Melville. I found it in the little kids section over near the shoes. And I've been kind of liking that style, so. And then just those gap shorts from earlier. Just spotted these puppies hanging in the wrong section. Mom jean wranglers, distressing. $4. Oh my God, that's a fine. Yes, please. I'm moving on to the skirt section and look at this. This is one of the most unique things I've ever seen in my life. It is a sushi tennis skirt. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where this idea came from, but interesting. This is interesting. It's kind of like a windbreakery material, but I feel like these neon little straps make it kind of sporty. I have so much cheetah print and I feel like I don't wear it enough though, so I'm gonna leave it. This kind of reminds me of the Banana Republic dress I just grabbed. I actually really like the layers on this one too. I just had the weirdest experience, you guys. I will tell you about it in the car, but. <laughs> oh, I'm just, people are so funny. Oh my God, again, look at how cute these are. Corduroy overalls, little bulldog logo. Oh, they're so cute. They're like a light blue. Oh my gosh, I wish those fit me. <laughs> a few pairs of slacks some striped ones beige ones and these green ones i'll show you guys in the dressing room i also found another pair of vintage looking jeans that i'm excited about i did end up finding some little like sweatpants and i think a pair of jeans that i didn't show you guys but i feel like i might need to like cut them i'll show you guys in a little bit all right guys i'm just gonna try stuff over on in this little area because there's only one fitting room open and other people are using it so I found this little ruffly banana shirt. I actually think it's pretty cute. I don't know if I'll wear it, honestly, but I love a fun little novelty print, so I figured I'd show you guys this one. I found this silk shirt. It is a size extra large, so I don't know if it fits me very well, but I did think it was really nice since it was 100% silk and just like these little polka dots. It could be a good basic. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, but I'm not like obsessed, so eh, I don't know. I found this little crochet spaghetti strap. It has a bunch of like black beading all over it here, but I feel like it's kind of an awkward length. Like I wish it was a dress and I could put it over another like slip or if it was like a crop top, but I just don't love the length, but I'm gonna say no to this one. Here are these little like light wash gap shorts. They're actually super soft and comfortable, but I feel like they kind of fit me weird. Like, I don't know, like the boxiness and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're just not very really flattering on me. I love the length though. I love that they're a little bit longer and that they're the cutoff, but 
I'm gonna leave these behind. I just tried on these. I think that they are loft um, Kelly green slacks. I wish they fit, but too big, too long, not good. Bummer, because you guys know I've been feeling this color. All right, you guys, these are my nose. I found these super cute Magos jeans. They're really funny. They have like little feet on them, which I don't really love. But I was thinking about cutting them into shorts because the back, they have no pockets. I wish that they were just plain like the back, you know, but I don't love the little feet. And I think that they're too high for me to cut them into shorts, which is such a bummer because they're such a fun denim, like vintage look. These Under Armour shorts, these pants didn't fit. They were too low rise and they're a little baggy. And then I saw this little vintage looking sleep thing. I didn't even try this on because I didn't love it. These jeans weren't my favorite and I got the other jeans. And then these ones were not flattering at all, even though I love the color and stripes. And that's everything. Now I'm gonna go check out. All right guys, I'm done. I think I spent 22 or $24, such a good deal. Like so, so happy. Um, I love that thrift store. There was a lot of good stuff in there. I was just trying to be picky because you guys know my closet is like ridiculous. I need to do a major closet clean out. Um, but yeah, I really love this place, honestly. It makes me wonder if I should go over to the other one on the other side of town later this week. If I have time, I'm not sure if I will. Um, but yeah, I loved it. The employees are always really nice. It's very well organized. It's always like really clean and like, it's just a good thrift store in my opinion. You do have to look through a lot though because they have a lot of inventory, but I feel like it's pretty organized and like good. So yeah, if you guys are visiting Las Vegas and you want to come off the strip a little bit and do some thrifting, I do like this location. And I do like this thrift store in general. Like the workers are really good. Yeah, good experience. Lots of cute stuff to show you. Hi guys, obviously I'm back from Vegas and I am back at home. You guys sent me all of these cool suggestions for places to thrift and I was so sad because I actually published the first video on the same day that we were driving back from Las Vegas. So you guys gave me a bunch of good suggestions and I did screenshot them all because I do have a timeshare there. So we go for a week, a year, but because of COVID last year, um, we didn't end up going. So we actually have a whole nother week that we've already paid for. So I do go to Vegas frequently and I will end up going back there pretty soon. So I'm bummed that you guys suggested all these like good savers and different places for me to go. Um, and I will check them out next time I'm there. So I ended up filming four separate thrift videos while I was there. So this is number two of four. That DI did not disappoint. I had a really good time there. Although I was trying to be really like particular about things that I got and let me just show you guys everything that I got. So I did end up spending a total of $22, so pretty good. The dresses at Goodwill were like $9, so that would have been two items at the previous Goodwill that I went to. Their Goodwills are more expensive than mine and I consider mine really expensive, so I was happy to get some better prices. Let's get on into this haul. First up, I did end up picking up this cute little Brandy Melville polo. It's like a cropped polo. This was actually in the little boys section, which I can see why they thought it was little boys because it's, it's small, you guys. You know Brandy Melville, they make one size clothing, which is ridiculous. Like, I can't stand their business model. But yeah, they do make one size clothing and this would only fit size tiny. So hopefully, have they changed their ways or are they still doing that? I don't know, I never buy it in store i will only thrift brandy melville but yeah but the money from this guy went to the thrift store and so i feel good about that and i really like it i'm very into this kind of like preppy thing going on i think that it's because i've been watching the new gossip girl reboot and they are very into the like preppy polo prep school thing and i feel like it's inspiring some of my outfits and outfits to come for fall so thought that was cute and I think it was only like two or three bucks. I think it would look cute with jeans, but also would look really, really cute with like khakis or like tan pants or even like white. I don't know. I feel like I could wear this with a lot. So ended up getting that. And then when I was at the register, I spotted this. It was on like the go back rack and I asked the girl if it was for sale and she said, yeah, no one's bought it. It's a go back. So I ended up getting this cute little book bag right here, or it's like a purse tote it is kind of like a beige brown color neutrals i feel like it will go with all the preppy outfits and i really like it, it has like all these different tassels and leather straps and buckles and pockets 
and then on the inside it opens up to be really large I feel like I could fit my entire computer in here for when I go to the park with Everett. Sometimes he likes to go to the park and skateboard and I edit videos just to be outside and get some sunshine while I'm actually working, which is really nice. You guys, this was two bucks. Such a good score. Can't beat it. I bought some other bags later on in the upcoming thrift videos and they were not $2. I'll tell you that right now. I almost put this one back you guys and then at the last second I was like you know what I'm still thinking about that so I think I like it I feel like that's such a good indicator if you are still thinking about something then you want to go back and grab it and that's what I did with this one it was the little cute banana top right here it was new with tags and I feel like it's just very like 90s kind of like novelty print it's blue with these yellow bananas and I really like the cut of this shirt I just think it's really cute with the girly little ruffles and the scrunching kind of on the chest there. This one is very sheer. I ended up just wearing it with a little black bra, but I'd probably wear it with a bandeau underneath next time, but I was just being lazy for the try on. I ended up finding these cute black Victoria's Secret pink joggers right here. What really drew me in to this one was this uh, waistband right here. It like has this elastic waistband and the tie and I just thought that was kind of a cute detail. To be honest, I don't love the way that joggers, like the tight joggers that are really tight at the ankle and they almost look like, like leggings. They're so tight fit me um, but I wanted to cut these into some cute little shorts so I figured I'd show you guys them before I cut them but I'll probably cut them just a few inches down and just use them as cute little like lounge shorts for around the house or I've been trying to get better about going for like little runs around my neighborhood um, with my dog in the morning so I got those and they were three dollars this was a risk and an impulse buy, but I felt like it turned out okay. And it was right at the last second as I was checking out in line. It is this um, like schoolgirl school uniform outfit thing. It is beige and it was in the little girl section. Cause, so it's kind of a little small. If you guys didn't see it. I did a thrifting the gossip girl outfits whole thing this would have been the perfect item for that video of course I find it later that keeps happening to me I keep doing themed videos and then I find the perfect items for the themed videos after I film the video I figured that if I didn't like the top of it I could just cut it and use it as the tennis skirt and that would work but I actually do kind of like the little top of it for the try on I just tried it on with this tank top that I have on right now um, but in the future I definitely wear it with a long sleeve like thin sweater you know kind of like that dress over the sweater look that they do with like kind of like an overall dress kind of vibe um, but I think that it'll be really cute especially with all of my chunky Doc Martens or just like chunky boots in general. And this one was only $3 as well, so. And the last thing was the denim. You guys know I'm obsessed with denim. Like I probably have like close to 40 pairs of jeans. I know it's ridiculous, but there's something about denim. I'm just such a denim girl. I wear it all year round. A lot of people say they don't wear denim in the summertime. I wear denim all the time. I love it. I'm just a very casual denim in a t-shirt kind of girl and I was excited to find these ones because they are Wranglers, like natural distressing all over the pockets and just kind of like where the buttons are. I can tell that they have been around the block and I'm not sure if they're women's or men's. I just liked the fit even though they are a little bit bigger. So these ones were $4, which is amazing. Like none of the denim at Goodwill is $4. Are you kidding me? I think that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There's two more thrift videos coming from Vegas. And then you guys, I have that huge thrift haul that I made right before I left for my vacation. I didn't have time to film the haul. I showed you guys thrifting throughout the day and then I didn't show you guys the haul. So I still have that. So lots of thrifting to come up. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> Love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.